Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I share with you an amazing hair growth treatment that you can do to your hair every four to six weeks in order for your hair to grow longer, stronger, and healthier. So I definitely suggest that you keep on watching and you watch till the end of the video so you don't miss out on any useful information. Now, before we dive into it, thank you so much, guys, if you're a returning subscriber. I really, really, really appreciate your love and support. It really means a lot. Now, if it's your first time here and Vanessa I make natural hair videos including lots of DIYs to help us grow strong healthy and long natural hair so definitely consider hitting that subscribe button to join the family so let's hop into the video guys the first ingredient we'll need for this recipe will be some aloe vera now aloe vera is really great for hair because it contains something called proteolytic enzymes which repairs dead skin cells on the scalp it also acts as a great conditioner leaving our hair looking nice and smooth and shiny it promotes hair growth prevents itching on the scalp reduces down drop, and basically just improves the overall overall health of the hair um so that's why i love to use aloe vera quite a lot in my regimen because yeah it's just been amazing now if you don't have the actual aloe vera leaf just like i have here it's fine to use aloe vera gel or aloe vera juice that you can get from the store as long as it's 100 percent natural because at least you know what's in it um so but if you've got the leaf just like i do here it's very nice and simple to get the aloe vera juice so all you want to do is basically um cut your aloe vera make sure that you rinse it you can actually soak it as well for a few hours a few minutes sorry if you want to and you can just rinse it uh, just like i did here if you're trying to use it quickly enough it will be absolutely fine now cut your aloe vera in the middle and then use a knife to scoop the flesh of the aloe vera out now i would suggest that if you're not very confident with using knives definitely use a spoon because it's safer i've used knives pretty much all my life so i'm really comfortable with using knives but if you're not definitely use a spoon like i said because it's much safer for you so remove all of the aloe vera flesh and put it in the bowl you can also scrape the uh, skin of the aloe vera just so you can get pretty much all of all of the gel uh, out of it Okay guys so once that's all done this is basically what it looks like we're now going to go in with our next ingredient which would be some bananas now my banana looks like this because i froze it um so but you can use yours if it's not frozen it's absolutely fine as long as it's wiped usually when my banana is about to go off i pop it in the freezer and then i can use it you know next time now banana is good for our hair as well guys because it helps to get our hair stronger and thicker it also has antimicrobial properties that can help to heal flaky and dry scalp relieving dandruff symptoms so really really good for the overall health of our hair and scalp now the next ingredient after that would be some egg now i'm using a whole egg eggs are great because they're a high source of protein and also it prevents hair loss it enhances hair elasticity it adds shine um and it also fosters repair which is really good and also improves the texture of our hair and then i went in with some olive oil after that now i don't know the exact quantity guys i just eyeballed it again you can add more if you want to or less now olive oil is really good as well because it has antioxidants and antimicrobial agents that may help to contribute to healthy hair over time and actually treating your hair with olive oil may work to strengthen your hair follicles increasing the lifespan of each hair and making it seem seem like your hair is growing more quickly so go ahead and blend everything and then that's pretty much what it looks like you need to make sure you blend this really well so that everything is properly blended and then we're now going to go ahead and strain it i'm using a wig cap here but again you can strain it using anything that you've got available 
I just pour the mixture on there and I'm just gently shaking it just to allow, you know, basically the mixture to come out on the other end without any um, residue. Now when that's all done guys this is basically what it looks like you can see we've got quite a bit of residue on there and that's why you needed to strain this because otherwise you would have had this stuck in your hair which you wouldn't have liked um, so we're all done this is basically what it looks like um really nice and nutritious for our hair now in the next part of this video guys i'm going to show you how i'm applying this to my hair um so i'll definitely suggest that you stick around so you can see how my hair turned out now my hair is actually clean my scalp is clean as well um but my hair is dry okay so pretty dry um like i said before i've been extremely busy these days and i don't really care for my hair as much as i used to to be honest so i just thought it needed a little bit of tlc here now i'm going to part my hair into smaller sections uh, and then i'm going to now go on and apply this uh, treatment to it now the good thing about this treatment as well is that it's it's liquid in consistency so it's not really thick um, and that's really good if your hair is dry because that will give it you know a bit more moisture now if you're looking for something that's slightly thicker in consistency i would suggest that you don't use as much aloe vera juice or gel depending on what you've got um, but i really didn't mind it i wanted the aloe vera to dominate in this and the banana as well um, just for extra moisture so I'm just working the, the um, treatment through my hair here including my scalp and my ends now ends are really important guys especially if you're trying to retain length if you always have dry hair all the time your hair is always going to break and that's what will make you think that your hair is not growing um, but our hair grows every single day it's just about retaining that length that's really important and sometimes difficult to do to be honest so if we're only able to retain the hair that grows out of our scalp we will definitely have a lot of hair and long hair as well because we grow hair every single day obviously at different rates depending on perhaps you know how you eat so your diet your exercise your water intake and also a little bit of your genetics to be honest but we do grow hair every single day so that's why it's always good to treat your hair just to give it you know moisture nourishment to actually keep it you know in good standards because that's what's going to prevent it from breaking and that's what will um, give you the length that you're looking for pretty much so I'm basically just working through this uh, working this through my hair including my ends massaging that to my scalp just to make sure that every single part of my hair is covered pretty much Okay guys, if you made it to this point of the video and you're still not subscribed and you still haven't hit that thumbs up button, definitely go ahead and do that guys. Hitting the thumbs up button really helps my videos. It really helps, you know, YouTube push the video forward towards more people. So, you know, we could all benefit from it. Um, and also you can learn from each other. I mean, I've had lots of you guys in the past leave me suggestions in the comment section that i've actually implemented and i really loved so we can all learn from each other we can all have this little community where we're all benefiting from one another so definitely hit that thumbs up button so that somebody else can see this and hopefully learn one thing or two and also leave me a comment guys i usually read them all i don't always answer them at the time that you left the comment but i usually get around to answering it so yeah leave me a comment guys and we'll definitely have a little conversation down in the comments section 
so i was literally just doing like a quick length check here i was really happy with what my hair looks like right now to be honest it feels really healthy uh when i touch it and also it does look healthy to me and it does look pretty long so i'm really happy with basically my hair growth journey i mean my hair has been in stages i get asked this question so many times like you know how long have you grown your hair and things like that my hair has ne hasn't always been this healthy and always been this long um it's basically just through taking care of it so that's why it's just good to do treatments like this sometimes just to give your hair a little bit of that tlc that it needs so yeah that's kind of pretty much all i do so at this point guys i had finished um putting the treatment on my hair and this is basically what it looks like so every bit of my hair and scalp was covered at this point and i used everything that i made now i know some of you guys probably ask whether you can store this yes you can in the freezer now i don't know so much about the fridge because i've never done it before i usually just make and use um I guess you can store it in the fridge as well if you want to but probably not long enough but if you freeze it it might be better because you can just defrost it and use it again um, in the future so at this point guys I had left the plastic bag on my hair for about three hours and this is what it looked like afterwards I was really happy with how it turned out it was really nice and moisturized already even without rinsing the treatment off and I was really really happy so I went ahead and I rinsed this off with warm water and my hair felt extremely moist moisturize now i haven't detangled yet because i usually don't detangle my hair bef um, before washing and all of that i usually do it afterwards just because it's easier but detangling was not even a problem at all one thing i would say is that it does leave a little smell to your hair guys so be sure to use a good leave-in conditioner afterwards so this is pretty much it for me today thank you so much for watching hit that thumbs up button subscribe if you're not already and i'll catch you next time bye